So next up, we have uh, another founding member of the Vito Mark Antonio Forum, uh, Louis Romero. So Louis is going to um, read you a piece that he prepared, and um, we'd like to welcome him up to the microphone once again, everybody. Founding member, Louis Romero. Uh, it's good to see everybody here today. Uh, I think everything that's been said about Mark and Tony has been said already. So I'm just going to add my little drop to this ocean of words. Vito Mark Antonio did not fit into any single category. His was the essence of a wide open human nature because he understood his contradictions. He was both a ferocious fighter and a compassionate defender. A daring visionary of the future with a deep understanding of tradition. A political man gifted with the power of razor sharp logic when doing battle in the halls of Congress on behalf of his beloved constituents and a man capable of raising the room temperature and the blood temperature of his followers with electrical words dipped in deep cutting sarcasm directed towards their enemies. His was an eloquent and fearless voice loved by people who truly believed in peace and justice and a voice detested and vilified by those who profited from the miseries of others. He fought for the human rights of Italian Americans while simultaneously understanding and fighting for the human rights of Puerto Ricans and African Americans. He did not view this position as a blurry paradox. His mission was to fight and get voice for those who had no voice or power, regardless of race or nationality. He was, for those here today with religious inclinations, an avenging angel of the masses. He was, for those here today with secular inclinations, a political war one, tearing down and ripping apart the moldy houses of racism, warmongering, red baiting, and colonialism. He was a man whom those in power feared. He was a man whom the powerless loved. The powerful laughed and snickered when he died. They hired journalistic hacks and mummified historians to bury Mark deep, deep, deep into that invisible secret canyon of non-history where even the silence is silent. But they miscalculated. The worth of a man like Mark, the deeds of a man like Mark, the Zen-like selflessness of Mark, the international vision of Mark, the life force of a human being named Vito Mark Antonio resisted being carried, being carried to his historical oblivion by those hired pallbearers. The powerless kept his name alive. Anecdotes about Mark whispered at midnight articles about Mark in secret coded periodicals, drunken brawls when someone spoke badly of Mark. Photos of Mark talking tough guy talk with striking longshoremen. Mark spending countless hours advising and sympathizing with his constituents in his East Harlem office. You can see the lines of fatigue on his face. Mark with a beautiful smile as he shares the stage with a beaming Paul Robeson. This underground people's grapevine, holding on to Mark's outstretched hand, not letting go, kept Mark from falling into that invisible secret canyon so desired by his enemies. His great legacy of resistance inspires us not just to revive his name and honor, but to give Vito Mark Antonio his rightful place in the pantheon as one of the great American people's heroes. Thank you. Uh -huh. 